Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm solving lead flow question 433, minimum genetic mutation. A gene string can be represented by an 8 character long string with choices from A, C, G, T. Suppose we need to investigate a mutation from a gene string star gene to a gene string N gene, where one mutation is defined as one single character changed in the gene string. For example, if we change the star string uh, ending character from T to A to get uh, in our case, uh, we get one mutation. So one mutation is defined as one single character changed in a string. There is also a gene bank that records all the valid gene mutations. A gene must be in the bank to make it a valid gene string. Given the two gene strings, star gene and n gene, and the gene bank bank return the minimum number of mutations needed to mutate from star gene to n gene. If there is no such a mutation, return minus one. Know that the start point, uh, starting point is assumed to be valid, so it might not be included in the bank. Let's take a look at the example. In the example one, the star gene is AACCGGTT. The N gene is AACCGGTA. There is one character difference, and then the bank includes the N gene. So the start gene uh, does not have to be in the bank because it's already assumed to be valid. So in that case, we only need one mutation to change the ending character T to A to reach the, uh, the end gene from the star gene. So in that case, the output is 1. In the example 2, the star gene is AACCGGTT, and gene is AAACGGTA. There are two characters different, uh, the third character and then the last character. The bank contains three uh, valid uh, gene mutations. So the output is 2. So Let's, uh, let's take a look at how we can reach the engine from the star gene. So we can do it by first, let's say, changing the ending character T to A. That's one mutation. And then in that case, we we'll reach the character AACCGGTA. And then from this uh, gene, we can mutate the third character, changes from C to A, and then to reach the ending character, so the engine. So in that case, the output is 2. So remember, we uh, for each mutation, it's one character ch change in the string. And then for each mutation, we have choices from four different characters, A, C, and G, T. And then we also need to check to make sure that the mutation will lead to a gene in the bank. That's called the valid gene. So, okay, now how to solve that? How, how, how to solve this problem? So when we look at the minimum number of mutations needed, my first intuition is to solve it with uh, using the BFS algorithm. Uh, BFS algorithm is all um, is used to solve the shortest path problem. And for this one, we want to get the minimum number of mutations. So if we uh, do, if we consider uh, the path from the star gene to from the energy, so basically we want to find the shortest path to reach energy from the star gene. And then for each step, it's uh, uh, character change in the string. So now uh, let's code this problem. So we use the Q to solve the BFS problem. So in Python, we use the DQ from collections. And then uh, uh, at, the, at the beginning, so let's do, let's keep track of the choices. So the choices has to be one of the four characters. So basically, for each mutation, uh, you have to choose the uh, you have to choose from one of the four characters A, C, G, T. And for bank, uh, so we got so the bank uh, the input bank is a list. Uh, let's change to a set. So why we need to change to a set? Because uh, for set, uh, uh, the average case for finding an uh, element in the set is 01 time complexity. So basically, we converted that to a set. And then also, let's uh, initialize the queue. So initially, we want to put the Uh, we want to put the star gene in the set, star gene, 
we also want to keep track of how many mutations we have so far. So that's why we, uh, each the queue uh, is a queue of tuples. In each tuple, it com contains the start, the gene, uh, and then also the steps, the number of steps to reach uh, the current gene. And we also want to keep track of visited so that we do not visit visit or mutate to the gene that we have already mutated to before. So we also use a set. So in that case, let's start with the star gene. So at the very beginning, so we already checked, uh, we start from the star gene. So in that case, we already visit the star gene. So well, Q is not empty. So we pop the elements from the Q. So the gene and then the steps equals Q dot pop left and then if this gene is already the end gene so in that case we have find the minimum number of mutations with just return steps else we just uh, keep the mut mutation so for mutation let's do uh, for i and then the character in uh, in this gene as in gene in enumerator gene. And then we check uh, the different choices. We check different choices for C in choices. If I is not equal to C, Uh, if s is not equal to c, Sorry. if s is not equal to c, which means, I mean, for the mutation, we want to change to a different character. If at this position, let's say, if the first character of the current gene is a, you do not want to mutate uh, to the same gene. So in that case, that's why we want to check uh, if the s is not equal to c. Then we get the new gene. So the new gene is equals to the, uh, to the g up until index i, I but not including i and then with this new uh, character which is the character that you are mutate to plus the g i plus one so basically new g is uh, the existing g by changing one character in the existing gene. That's the new mutation. And then we want to check if new gene not in visited, so if it's not visited before. In that case, we add this new gene to the visited. And then we also add this one to the queue. So we add this new gene and then also the steps plus one because we have already uh, complete one mutation. So we mutate from gene to this new gene. So if in the end we have already um, exhausted the queue, basically consider all the different uh, uh, genes in this queue, but we still haven't find a solution, which means uh, we haven't returned the steps. In that case, we just return minus one. It means that there is no such a mutation to reach the energy from the starting gene. Okay, let's run this uh, solution. Okay, we passed uh, the first test case. Let's try to submit it. Oh, the answer is wrong. Oh, bank is empty. My bank. Oh, one condition I forgot uh, while coding this solution is I forgot to check if this uh, uh, mutation is in the bank. So basically, we need to check uh, if the new gene in the bank, in bank, and new gene not in visited. Because for each mutation, it has to be a valid mutation. 
uh, we and then for the valid muta all the valid mutations are in the bound. So that's a condition we need to check as well. In addition to uh, if this new gene has already been visited before. Let me resubmit it. Okay, the solution is accepted and it beats like uh, 67 percent of the solution in terms of runtime and it beats 84 percent in terms of the memory. So this is my solution for the lead code extraction for 33. Uh, if you uh, like my solution, please feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.